All right, in today's video, I'm gonna test out actually Smart Summon. So it got released through a, a new software update um, with FSD. So I, I actually have it installed. I have it enabled on my uh, on the latest Tesla app over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press this button called Smart Summon um, and it's gonna connect. And basically there's kind of like a couple of options. Um, you could either do go to target, um, which is the smart summon or what you can do is you can also use these arrow keys over here uh, And this is kind of like a dumb summon so you can use these arrow keys to control the car any which way you want But what I'm gonna do is actually Park the car over here and I'm gonna go to the other side of the park, which is all the way over there uh, in that area and I'm gonna summon it through my phone um, to tell it to come to that side of the park from here and let's see how it goes one quick thing to note make sure that actual smart summon is enabled under autopilot settings under the full self-driving setting um in the vehicle so just go to full self-driving and then scroll down until you see actual smart summon and make sure it's toggled on another quick note i wanted to go further away from the car to the other side of the park but for some reason the actual smart summon didn't work from the app it kept saying that i had to get closer to the vehicle so that's why i had to settle for a closer location uh, which ended up being a lot closer to the car so just keep that in mind all right i'm on the other side of the parking lot and the car is over there uh, and i have the summon open up on my phone so now i'm just going to press and hold uh, this come to me button now it says it's preparing um, and it says it's going to release to stop so as you can see the car is actually moving over there by itself and now uh, if I go a little bit closer it's, it's uh you know it's slowly approaching me and I guess the way this works is um, you actually got to release it to stop the car at any given point in time but you can see here that the camera view is also present on the car right like uh, in the Tesla app at least so as you can see it's just gonna keep coming towards me and now it's putting its blinker on just like an uber driver would and you know it stopped stopped and now has this hazards light uh, hazard lights flashing and yep that's it. it it completed the maneuver uh and as you can see it's as simple as that um and now i can just you know go into the car and just drive on <laughs> 